chaîne de montagne. Virgile is one of around 60 children in France who took part in a test trial to treat autism in 2012. The children were administered a diuretic drug to determine whether this could alleviate their disorders. The treatment was based on the premise that the neurons of children suffering from autism contain abnormally high levels of chlorine. Using a diuretic helps prevent the chlorine from entering the nervous cells. The trial proved positive and Virgile's health improved. Conclusive tests have already been carried out on mice. Autistic mice were given the diuretic which helped lower chlorine levels the same way as oxytocin does for women during childbirth. Normally, during childbirth, chlorine levels drop thanks to a hormone called oxytocin. And we have shown that that drop in chlorine levels, which plays an important role in protecting the brain of the embryo, doesn't occur in autistic mice. When the mice are injected with a diuretic on the eve of giving birth, the brain activity in the newborn mouse is normal. Prenatal treatment is not an option for humans, though, as there's no prenatal screening for autism to date but the tests have raised hope for the relatives of people suffering from autism. Yes, clearly, it's given us hope. We would like to go further and be part of the protocol. Because autism has always been treated as a psychiatric illness or a disability, research into combating the disease hasn't moved forward. So this finding is unprecedented. It opens up a whole new world and shows that autism is a problem that has to do with the brain. Researchers are quick to point out, however, that the diuretic drug will not cure autism but there's hope it could help improve quality of life for people suffering from it.